In these videos we have been introducing the concept of invertible matrix or inverse matrix and in this video we are going to see some other examples. Of course in later videos we will learn some algorithms to to get the, the inverse. There are several ones, some faster than others, but for the moment we are still uh, working on a very on very simple cases and very general cases okay so if we have a uh, matrix a with entries a b c d so this is a this this is a two by two uh, matrix right okay now the question is when is a invertible okay so what are the conditions for the entries in a matrix for instance in a 2 by 2 for this matrix this square matrix to be invertible okay so we know that um, in order for A to be uh, invertible there must be a inverse such that if you uh, multiply a times the inverse you get the identity okay so you know what a is you know what the identity is because the identity will be one zero zero one right and you know what a is a is a b c d right so now the question is what should the, the inverse be here well let us call it uh, I don't know we can call it uh, X Y uh, Z and T for instance okay and now if I perform a times the inverse I'll be getting the identity right okay let's do it so what we have here is uh, so a times x plus b times z a x plus b z a y uh, plus b t so a y plus b t c x plus d z c y plus d t and they all have to be equal to one zero zero one well we are going to end up solving uh, two systems right where we have to two linear systems right we have to pick this one and equal to this one pick this one equal to this one pick this one equal to this one this one to this one so that will be a x plus b z equal to one right uh, c x plus d z equal to zero a y plus b t equal to zero c y plus d t equal to one i hope i did not make any mistake here okay i know i'm jump jumping a bit in concepts here but i have to use them to solve this problem so here we have a matrix right because we can do a b c d so we can put the coefficients of this system in a, a matrix and here we if we put the coefficients of the system in a matrix that will be a b c d okay the same matrix for both okay now this is taking so long that we are forgetting that we are trying to find if a is invertible or not well in order for a to be invertible the determinant here has to be different from zero right so the determinant of the matrix will be a times d minus bc right so the and they both they have the same determinant okay so now we can pick solutions here 
as x will be the solution for x will be d dividing the determinant of a and uh, z will be um, minus c dividing the determinant of a okay and in the second system it's more or less the same y will be minus b dividing the determinant of a and t will be a right right a dividing the determinant of a this might sound very complicated for some people but at the end of the day this is basic calculation if 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 anyone has any problems with this and doesn't know where from where this comes from i can make a video for, for, uh, only for this okay so uh, this entries x y z and t will be the entries the the entries for our inverse matrix so the entries of our inverse matrix will be d dividing uh, the determinant of a minus b dividing the determinant of a minus c dividing the determinant of a and a dividing the determinant of a so sooner or later with other tools this kind of solution will get back to our videos but for, 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 for the time being with under very um, easy tools we got to this conclusion right because I can put the, the determinant of a here I can factor so it will be 1 over the determinant of a do not forget that if you multiply a matrix by a scalar and in this case this will be a scalar you have to multiply all the entries by the same value okay of d minus b minus c and a of course the determinant of a has to be different from zero right so here a d minus b c has to be different from zero so a d has to be different from b c right that to, to, to begin with and under these conditions right this will be the inverse of matrix a so you see at the end of the day you have a quick way to find an inverse for a so if a a two by two matrix a b c d if you need an inverse right you just multiply by the determinant that's a times d minus c b and here now um, th at this position you put d at the position of d you put a okay and you you also exchange b by c so you put uh, uh, B here and no, I'm sorry, you exchange A by D and D by A, A by D and D by A. B and C uh, stay the same, but you exchange the, the sign. Okay, here you are. Check if these two matrices are not the same. Okay, they are so very easy.